Hello guys, it's Ethne Green living here with Carlene's Cottage and I just wanted to come back and just kind of show you how my rose bushes are opening and blooming and um, I just want to share that with you for all my bushes. I know some of you guys have been following this journey so I just want to keep you up to date and let you continue to join. Remember I bought the property uh, with these rose bushes all ready on it. So this is just the first year and seeing how they come and how they are and then what we're going to do next year um when it's a pr appropriate time we will go ahead and prune these back so that next year we can really have something beautiful because you know this is just too beautiful to be you know to have uh these dry um thorny parts just sticking up and really stunting the growth I mean, there's so many messages here within this rose. I think that's part of the reason I love gardening so much. It is it it has very uh, good messages to be mindful of what's you know what's what's near you, what's growing inside of you, what's sticking out of you, and are there things that are preventing you from growing and reaching your fullest potential? Things that are holding you back in your own life, holding you from being the beautiful thing that you were meant to be, yet you're being held back by something thorny and, and sticky, etc. So let's go see the other uh, three. Okay, there's still no updates to this area as much as I would like it to be. So there just isn't right now and I have to be okay with that. I would love more than anything to be able to replace these three benches into something that um, is beautiful and that I can sit on and truly enjoy. But even if I could, it wouldn't make a difference because there's nowhere to sit right there. The bench is still being covered. But again, I just wanted to let it, you know, um, <clears throat> just kind of grow this first year. I can assess the situation, take a look. And then next year we can do the work. So definitely I'm going to be cutting these back and or just moving this out completely. Um, and maybe setting up another place that, you know, you can sit. Um, so that's another option. But we're here to see how our roses are growing and blooming. And oh my goodness, is this just so beautiful? I mean, these roses are gorgeous. Do you see these? Like... Oh my goodness, this is just too, too beautiful, too beautiful. Oh my, oh my, my. This is just nice. They are, they are truly beautiful. And I will say this, I really wish they had to put two of these that matched over here. I just couldn't understand why they didn't. But you know, we don't always get to choose. We just need to be thankful and grateful and let that gratitude make way and room for something else and so that is what i try to teach my five children that is the life i try to live by example so when i want to murmur and complain i'm like lord just help me <laughs> help me be grateful so again um next year i can cut them back and then it won't be some really tall ones here and then some shorter ones here and some blooming out here so we'll and then nothing here and here so what we'll do is we'll just give it a little bit of uh order and um but they are just gorgeous so i cannot wait nothing oh my goodness can't wait so i do have this monkey grass down here or i think it's called monkey grass it's like an ornamental um type leaf that's there and then i have some here that hmm hmm so <laughs> these are yellow and white yellow and white flowers and um they don't smell any better than the other ones and I think this is probably my worst performing rose bush maybe it's not as old as the other ones uh, again I was thinking maybe it's just not getting as much light because this one maybe blocks more of the light uh, I'm not sure but we're gonna just give this a little care and love and and we'll give it a little time and we'll see and then if <laughs> things don't change then we'll see about this one but anyway we have one more the baby one and that's the one that my daughter says is her flower bed because of the beautiful rose and we'll actually see if the lilies have come up too before we get to the baby rose bush I did think I should show this I've never showed this before because it's not that much to show but it is ornament ornament the middle grasses and so um here is one of um the little 
vignettes, if you will, of ornamental grasses. Here is another small vignette of the ornamental grasses. And here is another little vignette right here. Of, and you can see the beautiful purple right there. So I'll be pulling these weeds and like I said, we'll be getting everything cut. But uh, this is another one I just wanted to share with you. Okay, and here are my baby's roses. So my little princess, Kalani Elise. And um, these are her little roses here. And <laughs> she, oh my goodness, she's just so excited and wants to share with everybody about her little beautiful pink roses. So let's go to the right. And I have some ornamental grasses here. And actually, let's just walk around. And then we have some more ornamental grasses with some lilies. How cute, huh? So my lilies aren't up yet. I'm sure it isn't time for it, but oh, I cannot wait to see what they're gonna look like. Let's go ahead to the other side here. It's my baby's roses again. And I'm tall, so let me... Yeah, I don't know if you know or not, but I'm almost six feet tall. <laughs> uh, so this is, looks like another tree that's trying to grow. So we need to take care of that because this thing is humongous. But look, I've got some more. And so I can tell that it's almost time because look right here. So I've got a whole bunch here and I've got some there and I've got some more ornamental grasses. So I'm super excited. And with that, that concludes our... Um, roses and flower um, decor <laughs> tour and I'll be back again for another update and maybe then the lilies will be up and um, we did plant a few things on the um, deck maybe I'll share with that that video with you guys next time let me know if you guys want to see uh, what flowers and just a tiny bit of herbs are growing on our um, deck and if you want to see what that looks like do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe this video. Remember, you can do a lot with a little. And until next time, blessings.